Hey everyone, it's Elaine, and I have a special treat for you today. I am at my friend Charlene's house who lives in Florida, and she had asked me to, you know, to put some things together and see if we could do like a little junk journaling kind of weekend. Sort of a little bit of a class for some basics and kind of just to have some girl fun. So what you see in front of you is a little bit of an example. I just pulled all kinds of pages. Now some things have been taken out of here, but of course I have my blueprints and book pages and just notebook pages. So I gave them a pack of paper and then, no, this is not my lunch. This is the kit that I put all kinds of ephemera in. I made the, um, the book covers for them with the, the help from my friend Kathy, who's a, sitting right next to me. Hi, everyone. And we've got some napkins in here, and we have some like things that we stamp and some napkins. Like, you see some gauze, you've got tags, you got paper ruffles, just all kinds of stuff. Now, the challenge was, of course, to use this stuff. Some embraced the challenge, and some did not. <laughs> but it's fine. It was just kind of a thing to get us all started. And I thought if everyone was willing to, that we would come on here and show you what we did. And just to see what four people do, basically, with the same stuff. So I'm going to ask Kathy to come on and get this out of the way. And she's going to slide in what she has done so far. Now remember, she has she's not finished but this is a great start. Now look at that cover. Kathy, tell us what you've done. Okay, this is a, a cloth cover and a book plate that I got from Aunt Elaine. And all of the flowers have cut out some fabric. And yeah, felt. she used a bunch of the fabric samples that I'm always telling you I have and leather samples. Now, here's the situation with this. It is not glued down. So if you want to get your paper back there, Kathy, and get this off of here, we don't want to make a mess out of it. Let's see what we can do. There we go. Almost, almost. Okay. So now she's going to do a little flip through of her journal for us and explain a little bit along the way. It's a work in progress. As you can see from the side, it's three signatures. And my cover is a shiny Dollar Tree piece of fabric. And then I started building the pages, and this is, like I said, a work in progress. Uh, I brought a little bit of paper from home, but at least 80% of all the pages in here were in the little Chick-fil-A Yeah, box. like this tag is washi tape that she pieced together. Um, Kathy had taken, like, a gift card and wrapped up, you know, different samples of washi tape so we all had some washi tape to play with, and that's what she did with hers. Okay. This is a grommet from the fabric. You know, those big old brass things that are always at the top of the fabric. Look at that. Isn't that cute? Who would have thunk? And this is a, an old an envelope. Yeah, one of those window envelopes that we get our business in. And um, she turned it into a slide. So that's pretty cool, too. See, original. Some more pockets. This was the one you were telling Oh, this is the, um, remember last year, a couple years ago, Target was selling the um, C packets? That's what she did with hers. This is just things that were loose in the box, different uh, shapes. Yeah, we had punched a bunch of circles and hearts and flowers and just stuff. I'm telling you, if this is just stuff. And you can journal on the back. There you go. And another flower pack. As you can see, Kathy's kind of going with the theme. You won't get that when you get to mine. <laughs> and tag. A little tag. She added some fabric from her pack. A specimen. There you go. And the envelope, of course. Mm -hmm. This one is really jelly cute. plated. And then look at this, how she did um, a border punch and punched out of those bubbles. And then back behind it is some lace that shines through. More flowers that was punched out of fabric. And then all I did was add the some little tip in here for you to journal off. Uh, out of a magazine, a calendar. Yeah, that was a calendar, calendar page. Yep. A music page, and I just stamped some flowers on it. 
Ooh, just line some paper there, and that's the other side of the calendar. Another slide. Another step. Cute little paper clip there, Kat. Chick fil A. <laughs> and that is pretty much in my first signature as far as I've gotten. I, there's, I've still done a few extra pages, like look at my truck, flower truck. But most of them, I'm still starting to decorate with stickers, more calendars, stained a lot of paper with coffee. Uh, music sheets. Yeah, these ladies were some coffee staining fools, let me tell you. Now that's one of those ones that we did with the lace tablecloth. I think you've seen me do that before. That's a lot of fun. They always turn out so unique. You never know what you're going to get. And this is signature two. Now that's really pretty. That was some stuff from the box. And then we had some dyes and she um, some, just punched the stems and everything. I did bring a little bit of tools, if you don't mind, keep flipping. Um, she did bring, I did bring some tools, some dyes, and, and um, you know, from my fabric samples and things like that, and, and some paints if anybody wanted to stencil and things, but for the most part, um, if we were trying to stick to the goodies that were in the two packs. Well, I've done a little bit of work back here, but this is pretty much where I'm it's pretty cute though. It's nice to see the pages and what's coming. That was just a, a yeah, card. Yeah, that was a card. I have a, one of those ring bound books that are about gardening and everything. And um, so that we use oh, that. that. Was done. Yeah, that's cute. It's got a little tuck corner. Mm -hmm. Flower card. It's another flower card. Mm -hmm. In a pocket. Yeah, some more scrapbook paper, coffee stained paper. Mm -hmm. That was out of a planner that I had. And then rather than cut the planner, it's going to fold out on both sides. And see, and here's one thing that Kathy did too. I want you to take note. This is just a regular size piece of paper. But Kathy doesn't really like it when the pages turn sideways. So what she does is she goes through and she pieces pieces to, excuse me, pieces pages together so that then everything stays upright. So you'll see in hers a little sometimes that she'll have some kind of little centerpiece here attaching them together. So what do y'all think? It's pretty cool. Another calendar. Different shaped specimen. Mm -hmm. That was out of another envelope that she had. These are sleeves. Yeah, this was a die that I had brought and then we stamped it on the front and the um the slides, what we did there was, I had, remember back in the day when you'd have that film projector thing or whatever it was called, and you had the transparencies, that's it. So I had some transparency plastic, so I put a couple sheets in everybody's basket. So that's what we did with them. We all made some slides. So I thought that was pretty cool. And that's Braille paper. That's got a little poem on it, and that's it. And then we're to her back cover. So I'm going to ask Kathy to step away and see if I can get Lori to step on in here. So she's kind of getting some stuff glued together, but she, she's going to be coming on. She's, she's, she's moving fast, everybody. We coming. I'm we're, coming. We're going to do the happy finger dance right now until they can trade chairs. <laughs> All right, here she comes. Now, I got to say, I think Lori might have a little bit of hippie in her. And Just I, a little. And I say that only because wait till you see the inside of her covers. Now, that's one of my leather book plates again. And look at those daisies. All right, Lori, show us what you got. All right. So this is a uh, three signature also. And look at this. Do y'all know what this is? One, two, three. Tick tock, tick tock, tick tock. Oh, it's a record cover. Isn't that cool? And I'm going to go ahead and flip, and there's the other piece of it. Pretty cool. I thought that was very original. I'd never thought of that. All right, Laurie, show us what you got. All right. We also have our pen holder here. And a happy little pen. And when you tap him down and write with him, his wings go, woo-hoo, woo-hoo, woo-hoo. <laughs> Not the sound, though. That's just Elaine. Some more coffee stain. Now, that's the school paper when we were all learning to write cursive. Everything is coffee steamed. I was a coffee steaming fool. Yep, and there's that planner again. Whoops. Got some beads. Yep, and that one, the, um, the little slots that go into the plastic rings, that's where she added her beads. I thought that was original too. 
So here we go. We've got a pocket. pocket. Another pocket. Yep. And like I said, these are works in progress now. So pretty cool. Now that's the paper clip that slides on, and she's got you know just a few little pieces that she could write some notes on and take with her or whatever. So that's a little paper clip, little side thing. Now here she's done some slides. Um, Lori did a lot of pressed flowers for us, so we were fortunate to have those. We didn't have to travel with any. And there's that paper clip. I've done a video on that one before, so that's great. Here we go. Some blueprint paper from you know who. Some cast leaving. Yeah. Your signature. Yeah, and that hangs up. What's cool about that is they hang off the bottom, so they're not a big bulk in your in your journal. So, so some more stained paper. Pretty cool. Now look at that. Tell us what that is. So this, what do you call this? This is an it's envelope. The, yeah, it's the crisscross um, envelope. With all kinds of pockets. Yeah, so she, yeah, she made it so there's extra pockets. So now when she stuffs things down in here, you'll see, you'll see through it. So again, work in progress. <clears throat> Pretty cool. Little daisy theme going on here. If you couldn't tell already. <laughs> Now that one's pretty neat. That feels almost like a different kind of paper though, but it's not. It looks different. Oh, looks, okay, now, <laughs> show us this. All right, so this was just a piece of junk mail that I got. So it all unfolds and reveals. Ta-da, and look at the owl. <laughs> I have found this die, and I'm going to lift this up just so you can see it a little bit. He's made out of corrugated cardboard. And then we took music sheet, and then you can see his black eyes and his little beak. And then um, in their boxes, they had some of that um, cording with the leaves and everything. But isn't that Al the cutest? So that's a great, I thought that was a great little tuck and hiding spot for him. So here's some more. She did the bubbles too. Pretty cool. All right, she's got a lot of places in hers that you can write and journal or add photographs or you know when you travel the envelope to stick some things in now this if you remember I showed you um, where I have used this in the past and I have some upcoming coming videos where this is the base for some soft cover journals it's this vinyl stuff that comes on some fabric samples and it like won't tear it is rough and tough well Lori took it and coffee stained it who would have thought about that? And it, it held. It took the coffee. I was very surprised. And she's got a little slide down there with some more of those flowers that she did for us. So that's the braille paper. And then this was um, uh, an embroidered, like, I guess, applique kind of daisy. And she coffee stained it as well. And it took. It, it, it held the coffee. And this also had the holes. The braille paper had the holes. In the oh, yeah, that's right. Yeah, room. like it was spiral bound. That's right. Another. So here's her charm. Yeah, that's pretty. I think that came off of a bracelet that um, she had. So that was really cool. And there's a little daisy that she did a cutout. That was from the box. Mm -hmm. And that was a playing card that was in the box. <laughs> so Lori's done pretty good. This was a snippet roll, and then she's added some other things I see to it that was also in the box. So. Paper clip. Yep, a little wooden um, I mean, clothespin. Yeah. Yep. And then this little hunk of hunk of something mm -hmm. is, long story short, is I had done a tray with all kinds of tiles in it and I had poured polyurethane on it. Well, I guess I did too many layers or whatever. It's supposed to be clear. It wasn't. So I took a knife and cut it out, but it was also textured. I broke it up into pieces and said, you know me, I'm going to use this. So that's how she put it to use. And that's, there's a little bit of that in my journal too. And this is a cork. While we were here at Charlene's house, I asked her husband to go on and slice up a cork for us. And so Lori's taken it and put a stamp in it and then used it for a center of a flower. This is some of my upholstery fabric, but this is outdoor furniture fabric. So it is like I don't know, you want to say it feels a little plasticky, kind yeah. of, sort of, but it's meant to be weatherproof. And so she's tucked it back, and what was sewed that, a button? But Yep. Yep, and she sewed it on with a button. And we 
coffee dyed the button also. Yeah, it's pretty cool. It's a lace vein. Yeah, it's pretty good. It's on that blueprint paper. All right, so this is one of her little pads where if you want to take some notes and write. Now, did you perforate that one? I did not. Okay. So these are just a little notepad with all kinds of little things in it, you know, so you can write some notes and take it on the go if you need to. Let me tuck it back in there for you. Okay, that's cool. Now that's one of the grommet things that comes out of the, off the fabric samples. And look at that, she's added some beads and then the little key was in the box too with all the goodies. So that's really cute. I'd never seen that before. Oh, and then this is um, an envelope. And wait till you see the other side. So she did the same thing. She made a little notepad and then lined the inside and ruffled it and everything. So here's her little notepad here. So, yep, yeah, added some texture. Pretty cool. Let's see if we can get that back in there for you. Alrighty. So a little paper clip there at the top. And these are just some book pages then. Some books that I came from work. Napkin, maybe? A napkin on the master board? Oh, yeah, that's right. Um, I was showing her about doing a master board where you take, we used political flyers because we had tons of them. <laughs> and we just took that cardboardy stuff and then did some book pages on it and ripped them up. And then she um, decoupaged a, a napkin on there and then has cut it up and added it to her page. That kind of looks like a coloring book. <laughs> So again, lots of places to write and do. Here she's got a pocket with a tag, and um, so there's a little place to journal and hide some stuff, but there's a pocket front and back. And here now, here's, she's done the same thing with the scene that I was telling you with Kathy, is that she's kind of pieced it together so her music paper is going this way rather than this way. So that's pretty neat. And then her, her lace. And then her, she's finishing up with some slides. And then look at here what this little show off did. Mm -hmm. Some post-it notes. Who doesn't want post-it notes? So she's got them at the ready and she'll have her pen holder in the front. And there she is with her daisy book. All right, Lori, thank you very much. Thank you. All right, Miss Charlene, it's your up. Now Charlene, she did kind of a travel thing journal. And um, Wait till you see some of the stuff in here. I have to tell you, mm -hmm. it is so creative, but at the same time, we have chuckled about some of this stuff. So, now, Charlene's a little camera shy, so <laughs> she's, she, we're going we're gonna to do this together. Yeah, we're all laughing because she's not really shy, but here we go. So, do I untie it? Sure. Okay. This um, ribbon came off of a a goodie package that Lori brought for all of us. So Charlene went ahead and put hers to use. There you go. All right, Charlene, let's do it. So as I can see, as you can see, road trip. Now Charlene only did two signatures, but are they juicy and they're chunky? And how about the book plate on the end there? That her fabric kind of came out that way. I thought that was really neat too. All right, Charlene, let us tell us what you got. We have a specimen with a flower. Yeah. Now the flower. She um, decoupaged, and then there's a tag back there. Little snippet. Yeah. Betty Lane made. Yeah, that was in the box. And then she's got some buttons that she went on and tied up and, and for the little corner. All right, you need to show us this one. This is just a pull-out page. And see, and then it keeps going and going. And then back here, she's got some more goodies hidden. She's got a slide. And then some other little pieces of ephemera in a little pocket. So there's some surprises up under there, so she could make a long list on that one. All right, and then on this one, she did some, say she's got this um, border punch system that she used. All right, this is it. Now tell me what this is. This is my junk wall. Junk wall. Because remember, I gave them some funky things in this box. All right. So Charlene took on the challenge of using what she had. So in the Ziploc bag was a lot of different kinds of things. So if you've never had a junk wall before, you've seen it now, and I know it's going gonna, it's gonna to be a hit. It's going to be all over YouTube after this. 
So anyway, so here we go. So then she's got another pocket that she's done with some ephemera in it and coffee filter. Coffee filter. Yeah, and some tags, all kinds of tags and all kinds of little things hidden away. Again, she embraced the things that were in the box, some flowers. These were some little tags. And here's a doily. She, um, we had tried to do some tablecloths and everything with um, some coffee stains. So that's what that is. And then again, she's got a lot of places in here where you can journal. That's a paper ruffle. We've all seen those. And um, that looks like a map. And here she's embraced my twine. I remember it was travel related, so she had some stickers and some luggage stickers. Is this washi tape? It is. Okay, so on the edges. And here, this is some of the fabric that um, we had in there, and she's kind of tied it up, and I think that's really adorable. Oh. All right, so let's keep on going. A lot. And she's pretty much coffee stained everything, too. So now tell us about this. I just did a flip out page. Yeah. So it's look at here reminders. It's really cute. She could put some post-it notes on there. You know, tuck some things. It's it's just really cute. And then the borders and all. And then if you see this, she has woven some paper through again where she's done a border punch. And here's a paper ruffle. And she's embraced the miscellaneous things that were in the box. There in the corner, made some more line paper. Some more mat coffee stains. Now this one is layered. This was um, this was a, an accident. I went to pull up some coffee stained paper and it kind of stuck and ripped. And it's so funny, it kind of ripped perfectly. And then there's another. She used a big paper ruffle, paper clip, and then it's a little bit of a tuck too to, to hide something in there. And then a lot of paper, a lot of paper. I plan to use my journal with for pictures and journaling a a trip we're going to be doing. Yeah, Charlene's a big scrapbooker and I've been trying to recruit her a little bit into junk journaling. So, like I said, she invited us to her home and a few of us to all, you know, gather. Now here, we some of the things that we gave were some tabs. And so as you can see, she did a section where she used them. And now she also coffee stained those because they were, some of them were really bright. And here she's used some of the octagons, some of the shapes that were done. Tabs, a little, I think that was a, they're called like confetti or something. There we go. An old postcard that we gave her. Pocket. And I guess this is something you must have had out of yeah. it in the box. <laughs> um, at a, the last junk journaling event I went to, uh, Jan Burson gave it to me. Okay, yeah, that's right. Okay. And so some washi tape, another um, cluster, another pocket. So see, they've really used the, the stuff. I mean, that's just some squares that we punched out. Now here's our, our next center fold. I'll let her explain this again. So there we go. And look at this one, each little section. So we've got love, laugh, dream, and hug, happy. So there we go. That is adorable. All right, another snippet roll and just a little piece of ephemera. This is some fabric and some flowers that she layered up. And this is really cute. Some, uh, another piece of ephemera, the key and some uh, charms that she was given. Another slide, washi tape. And now this, this piece, I just happened to, at work I have a laser printer. So I printed out a hand and then coffee stained it afterwards. So Charlene used it. And she gave the lady a ruffle and painted her nails. So this, yeah, and this is a pocket. This was um, some cloth and that she used. And she turned it into a pocket. And then again, just embracing a lot of the ephemera and the washi tape and everything she was given. Now this one is one of those where you kind of stick everything that you have left over. So like she had a junk wall, I'm going to say this is a junk pocket. But look how pretty. You've never seen a pocket that pretty. So that is great. And then here she's used some more tabs again, another section of tabs. And then here's the man's hand pointing. And then again, just some pieces of stuff that she had, that she had been given, and she's put them to use.
And so that's that. And her inside cover is beautiful. It's all road trippy and everything too. And then she took an, um, a big paper clip and built a tassel over it. And she can use that as kind of a bookmark of where she's at in her journal when she's traveling so she knows where she wants to put next. But she's got a lot of places in here that she can put those brochures that she collects and pictures and you know little tickets and things like that that she'll collect along the way. So thank you very much. You're welcome. And did you put this over here for us to show? I didn't know if you wanted to talk about that. Okay, that's fine. One of the things that was so funny is that in the box we all had fuzzy balls. Yeah, I'm sorry, pom-poms. Fuzzy pom-poms. Yeah, as you can tell, we all got a chuckle out of them. So what was so funny about them is they came from Kathy. And Kathy ended up with like 15 pom-poms for fuzzy balls. And the rest of us may have had a couple. We've worked them in some kind of way. Well, Kathy had so many. So this was um, a piece of metal work that I had been, I had brought and I was given. And so she took all of her fuzzies and we cut them up. And as soon as you cut these little babies up, they kind of disintegrate. I mean, just kind of fall apart. So she has taken hers and put it on um, a scalloped kind of edge piece of paper that we all were given in different colors and variety. And then, and she put her fuzzies up there. So she just wanted to make sure that I shared that with everybody. So I'm going to reach across the table and give it back to her. All right, so now here's mine. So in our boxes, we um, also had, you know, some beads and everything. So I want to tell you, now I didn't use all my paper that was in my folder because I, it was just too much. I, you know, I didn't need it anymore. But this is the only part that was left out of the box that I didn't use. It's a few buttons that I can probably find a place for and a, and a um, safety pin and some big beads and I could probably do some kind of dangle but I wanted to show you that when you see this journal when I open it up I just really did embrace using what I had so I used some funky fabric and of course I used one of my leather book plates and journals and mine is three signatures and it's not real gaitered mouth but it's pretty close so here we go, let's do this. So I start off with a hand saying, come on in and see what's happening. And again, this is just a picture out of a calendar and I used some auction cards and then things that were just punched out. This is a flyer for a movie um, locally, some paper flowers, washi tape that I you know, wanted to use and there's the cluster. And then I did go through a book and cut out some quotes um, so the pages would have a little bit of something on them, you know, here and there. But I've left a lot of pages blank as well that you can, um, you know, journal in and add things. This is my cross-legged um, pocket and then just some more ephemera to it. This is a cloth pocket from a lot of the fabric samples I have and then old postcards and receipts and things and school paper. And this one was just a little notepad, but you flip it up and then there's another little place to write up under there. And that's some, um, I think, like Japanese paper for writing. This is actually a, lam a sample of laminate from like Lowe's Home Depot and then some gauzy stuff. And then again, we all had like little pieces of ribbon and I just made it like a little edge. And then I added my piece of fabric so it was just another little flip in there. And again, this is wallpaper right there and washi tape that I needed to use and uh, just a book page. And, you know, you, there's still places around here to write or you can, you know, slap a picture or something up there. There's some coffee stain paper. Now, I gave most of my coffee stain paper away to you know who, but we won't talk about that. Anyway, so there's some tabs and this is a calendar page. And again, I just, you know, I made a centerfold. I try my best to make a centerfold in each one of my signatures. There's that twine, and again, just things that were in the box. And um, so there's like that stuff I was telling you, that polyurethane on that tile, the other half. And you'll see that I've just added like a little something. So here is, um, this was like off of a shirt and some little pieces of paper on a paper clip. So you have a few little places to write. Um, 
that is a little poem. Um, so let's see here. Then this is one of those envelopes that, you know, I've always, I tell you all not to throw your envelopes away. This is one that I used, and um, let's see if I can turn it here for you to see, um, that I jelly printed on, and then I wrote, had some little places there if you want to write on it, but you can take it off. It's only paper clipped on. And then these are again are just kind of plain, some scrapbooking paper, music paper. Here's a um, a circle frame, another little quote, and then here's some receipts. This was actually the bottom of a paper sack, and that was just one of those happy accidents. I'll show you in a little bit here what I did with the paper sack, and then that was what I had left over. Little frame, and then Charlene gave me that little owl brad, and you'll get the you'll get to understand that in a minute. And then this is some of that vinyl stuff like Lori had shown when on her yellow pocket. And then just, and then Lori made these circles for me, like a little bookmark I'm going to use them for. And there's a paper ruffle, scrap of paper. Now I didn't do anything to my braille, I left it alone. And now this is my, one of my junk pockets. Um, this is a, it was cut to be an ATC backing, but it's wallpaper and a little slide. And then this is um, some of the backing off of some of the Tim Holtz products. And then I just put a group of cards in a piece of fabric as a, as a tab. And then, you know, this page had this heart on it out of a book, so I ended up having finding some little heart things in my box. Some fabric, and then there's a, you know, chick with an attitude and a little don't forget note. And then another little tab. So I, I did try to use up even the littlest fabric samples and stuff that were in there that um, I think Kathy had donated. Now this is um, from a paint company, and it's one of their little brochures, and I just thought that butterfly was so pretty, so I covered up the name of the company with a piece of washi tape. Here's a little place to um, write, and then this is the paper sack, and then I did my owl and a little peekaboo too, and this green is my fuzzy balls. I mean, excuse me, uh, 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 I'm joking everybody. This is my little fuzzy pop dot, or pop, what are they called? Pom-poms. All right, and then here we go, back to it. And then this, I think, was like off of a blank check, I mean, a, a tear away, there's checks attached to it. So just some more, little, another little place to write. And then I did an envelope, and there's some things tucked down in there in a postcard. Now this was a playing card, and I had that little pink frame and rather than just cut any of it, I kind of liked the way it all layered and peekabooed out. And then this is a little notepad that I did. And you can untie that when you use it all and, and add some more. The, this part up here at the top will stay attached. So you can add some more. And I perforated mine up under there so you can tear it away if you want to note. And then again, just some more, just using the stuff up in there. So I had this lace in my box, so I added it to some white paper. And then again, tucked all kinds of stuff in there. And um, you've probably seen where I've done those paper clips before, done the little loop on them and added the little jewel piece up there. So I did that. And then um, this I used the stencil and added some lines. And I might go back through and add some more lines to some of the pages. And this is just a little fabric sample when I've made my own kind of um, old scotch tape, let's say. And so that's um, the second signature, and then this is going to be the last signature. And I used just a piece of fabric and then um, just did a little thing of paper and, and put it on with a, a safety pin. And then um, got a little peekaboo page here and then just the owl that was in. This is an envelope that's made out of a calendar, and, I, and then I've um, just tucked some things in it. And again, just trying to use things that were in the box a pocket and some tickets and time card and stuff. What's what's in there? Okay, that I just added some things that were punched out. And now this is an envelope, so you're going to see the other half of it. This I used to cover up the stamp that was stamped on it. And here's the other side to it. And some of the grommets. This page kind of slipped when I was doing my signature, so it's a little wopsided, but that's okay. And so some more ephemera, and a little notepad again, a little place to journal. Fabric I'd use for a pocket and stuff some things in it. And then this is another calendar envelope. And I'll use some fabric that I had. And 
this is the centerpiece that, or um, my centerfold, I should say, and my fabric um, sample there, and some more playing cards and puzzle pieces. That was one of the clay tiles that I had done. There's that lop, other half of that lopsided piece, and here's the other half of the um, envelope. And there's you can see the peekaboo pocket, and that's a little place to write. And like that big piece that I just showed you where Kathy had, that was the piece I had in mind. And then another pocket here with some other things tucked in it. And this I just stamped a big butterfly and watercolored it a little bit just to add a little something to that page. And a paper ruffle and book pages and places to write. And that's really about it. Another little pocket and then I finished it off with a cluster and used my little key. So, yep, and a doily at the end there. So I hope you enjoyed seeing what we all did. Um, that is for people pretty much using the same stuff and using it in a different way. So if you like what I did and what I showed you, please subscribe to my channel. You can also find me on Instagram and Facebook. And yep, I have an Etsy shop. Don't have a whole lot in it, but you might be interested. So I do appreciate it very much. And I will see you down the road. See you on the flip side. And y'all behave. I'll catch you later. Bye.